Hi hey guys, this is Sabir again. Today I'll show you two tips and tricks regarding UVW in Blender. Imagine you have a character and you try to edit the UVW of the character and you notice the UV is made with UDIM. As a result, the UV islands are spread around all over the UV layout. You can see here the same problem too. So naturally, you try to add another tile by simply clicking on the plus icon inside the UV tile section. Now, by default, the tiles are added one after another, and that is fine. The problem is, now you are worried about how you can add tiles vertically. You can see there is no dedicated button or anything regarding adding a tile vertically. You try your best to search all over the place and find nothing. And finally, you are pulling off your hair. So, stop pulling off your hair and let me show you how you can add another tile vertically. The simple solution to this problem is to edit the name and replace 0 with 1 in the third digit. Then press the OK button. See, the problem was very critical but the solution is very funny. Now that your problem is solved, let me explain to you how and why this worked. You will notice that all the tiles contain a 4 digit number in the lower left corner. This is the ID of the tile. The fourth digit defines the position on the horizontal scale and the third digit defines the position on the vertical scale. So now you can understand how to add UDIM tiles both vertically and horizontally. Let's move on to the second problem. Imagine you have downloaded a model and you can see the UV islands are spread around all over the UV layout. You don't want to solve this by adding extra UDIM tiles rather than you want to move the UV islands precisely to the first or I can say the default tile. Take this sunglass model as example. You can see the UV are far away from the default tile. To check exactly how far it is, we can open the guide panel and increase the tiles X and tiles Y value and you can notice it is exactly 4 UV tiles away from the default tile. Now let's select all the EV islands, then press the N key from the keyboard to open the EV panel properties and here you can see the X value is 4 point something and the Y value is 1 point something. Uh, I can guess you already understand how the EV position value works. Don't worry if you don't understand this. Let me explain to you. So the first digit of X value define in which tiles the EV island reside right now. That's why it is 4 because you can count that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's move on to the Y value. You can see it is 1 point something because the EV islands are reside after just one tile vertically. So to move the EV islands without hampering their position on that tile all you have to do is just change the x and y value to 0 and keep the fraction value after that. This is very important. You just have to change the decimal value, not the fractional value. To make you understand clearly, let's practice with a couple of UV islands too. In this case, we cannot mix the left and right side of the UV island in just one tile. We have to add another tile on the right side. For that, all we have to do is to create a new image for UV. I'm going to choose blank. I'll zero out the alpha of the color value. So this is just one tile. We have to add another one. Open the image section. Under the source type, select UDIM tiles. Let's add another UV tile here. And we're done. So that's all from today. Hopefully this tutorial will help you understand and manage your UV workflow more effectively from now on. Uh, thank you.